Hello, this is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, wanting to take you five days into the future for our May 10th Palmer City Council meeting. And for our agenda that night, on consent agenda, which is at the very beginning, there's uh, that we're approving the city manager to negotiate for insurance. And, uh, and then also with that is the nomination for the Airport Advisory Commission. And uh, that information should be in the packet. But as soon as the agenda is approved, those things will be approved to go forward. Uh, upcoming projects we have going on is uh, we're scheduling some Open Meetings Act training probably starting May 24th. We may also have the city manager's review on May 24th. And then looking at in June, clarifying some gaps in the code of ethics and conduct for elected officials. Also on the agenda, there's one public hearing, a resolution for uh, the city manager to sign a memorandum of agreement with the Matsu Tennis Association having to do with the tennis courts and spending money and, and working with them to uh, improve our tennis courts that we have. And then towards the end of the meeting, we have a committee of the whole which will be the reviewing the council vacancies appointment process where the council will talk about that. And a few people have asked, uh, at the moment, there's only four council members or three council members in the mayor and wondering how that works. It takes four votes to make something uh, happen for most uh, activities. And in Palmer, as a home rule city, it's set up so the mayor always votes as a council member. I don't, if you've been to our meetings, you may have noticed that we do a roll call vote the clerk goes around and gets everyone's yes or no, and uh, even the mayor votes. And that's because in our code, the mayor votes as a council member. So some, some, it, some cities have it where the mayor breaks ties, et cetera. But in, in Palmer, the mayor votes as a council member, which means they vote for everything. So for that committee of a whole will be a discussion with the council members and uh, just talking about how we're going to do that. We're scheduling... Um, an interview night on the May 17th to go through the people that have applied and we'll do interviews and then be making uh, appointments on May 17th. And then for activities, we've got for events coming up this weekend, the 6th, 7th and 8th is the car show. The 49th State Street Rotters are doing their car show out at the uh, MTA Events Center right there across from the Palmer Junior High. They'll have a lot of their uh, very nice vehicles there. I've got a few pictures share with people, which is, I believe, from 2016, quite a few years ago, but some very nice cars. Also this weekend, same weekend, is the uh, Airmen's Association. That's both at the fairgrounds as well as our Palmer Airport, and there'll be many at aviation activities. There'll be many vendors at the fairgrounds, uh, a lot of booths and uh, different activities for the whole family, really, for kids as well as adults and learn more about aviation in Alaska. And that was, that's with the Alaska Airmen's Association. And then at the end of the month is the rodeo. So the last weekend of May will be the rodeo out at the state fairgrounds, which should be a really good time. This is Steve Carrington, Palmer City Mayor, taking you five days into the future for the May 10th City Council meeting.